Yeah, he's saying go, go, go. Welcome back to the Acoustic Shop channel. I am John. Hey guys, it is New Guitar Thursday. All there, you. guys. We're live. Oh my god! Welcome to the show, everybody. Let the fighting begin. Did you guys see how oh. I did that? Where I pretended like I didn't know they were here until I was like, "Oh hi!" Oh hey, everybody. How's it going, yeah, guys? No, I'm looking at um. Hi, Stephen so, Mooney. Hello, Acoustic Shop. Hello from New York, from Herb Michael. Hey, Claire, Herb. Yeah. Yeah. Are you welcome yeah. here? Forty-nine What's up? degree, uh, hey. Virginia. Hey, let Inkley do our job. Do your job. Oh, okay. Okay, welcome to uh, the show Shop hands. Talk today. This is the show where the Chapman brothers each uh, talk about instruments and answer all of your questions. I am your host, Tinkley, and I will be... Uh, Correction, I good will one, Bulldogger. talk about instruments. Jason is required to talk about instruments. He doesn't know this, but it is in his contract. <laughs> so that is what they are doing today. They are also going to be playing Make music. Me. Any of your requests, leave your request in now. Mom. No, but I'm the host. But she's paid to act like it in the shop. <laughs> yes. Jason, All have right. you been taking out the trash? So. <laughs> she took my trash out today. That was very we nice. We did. It was a team effort to take I appreciate that. the trash out. Yeah. Nice. Jason does the thing where he just keeps dumping it down inside yeah. there until it's like, no, I build he's it his own trash compactor. No, I pile it. Compactor. Like, I don't compact it. I just see if I can stack it. I'm like a, stack it's it a like, Jenga like situation. Jenga. Yeah, it's a little Jenga situation. So. All that said, uh, what are you guys going to be playing today? What's the... That's what I was kind of looking up. Music. Some songs that I want to Some songs play, uh, that you want to play? We should do... Steel Rails. Uh, what else is going down? That's tough without a banjo. Isn't it? As long as you don't say the bad word. Uh, I don't know. If, if you want to do that, that's oh, fine. I'm doing it! Your Uranus is back. Guys, come on. Let's, let's just, geez, they're really good ones, Bulldogger. I this like them, a, but we're just not going to comment on them because it, it leads to... If we don't actually work for the town of Uranus, hey. then it's not worth doing... Childish. Hey. Childish. childish. Hashtag childish. Hashtag childish. Right. childish. Hey. Yeah. You want to get in that I don't life? care. Can you do it? I tried it all over. Let's start over. It's just a half. Do over. Yeah. Um, Cold Virginia uh, Cold Night. Cold Virginia Night. Since uh, Vince, I think, said it was only 49 degrees. Uh, see, that's why we're doing this. I, I'm all right, you do it. the kickoff, John. All right. One, two, three. Hot like summer 
wind And it blew me away into the autumn And like the leaves that fell Our love shot to hell On that cold Virginia night When Jenny left me It was a full moon on the cold Virginia night When Jenny left me I could not believe What? What? We did that. A little too early to sing that. Ah, you did such a great job, Jeremy. That was good. I, yeah, they're subordinate and childish. They did You're say the, uh, the H word in that song. Yeah. When you listen to that line, it's like whoever's writing that. Was that a Ronnie Bowen song he wrote? No, I no, think it was. Missouri uh, 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 here. No, I, no, no, it no, was. Uh, I think that was. Uh, uh, of his it all got started on a Friday night when yeah. the time was flowing yeah, no, that free. Was, that's him. I can't remember his name right now. Uh, it was a cousin of Ronnie. Timmy so. Massey. Tim Massey, Tim Massey, yeah. yeah that's right. that's, um, so anyway, like, Timothy like the Massey. leaves that fell, our love shot. Like that Heck. when he wrote that, he had to be like, yeah, that's like our love shot to pieces. Pieces, Jerry. How's not a bad word? It's a grown-up word. That's what I tell my kids. <laughs> like, Dad, why did the guy on uh, on Gold Rush just say the H word? I said, because it's a grown-up word. It's not a bad word. It's just a grown-up word. <laughs> like the candy Reese's are all shot to pieces. There you go. See, it just doesn't work. It doesn't have That's the same. That's great. That has a great ring to it. Um, so, to answer, to answer, Kyle, yes, we are going to play the TAS guitar today. We are no! not. Yes. We are maybe. not liars. We'll see. Yes, Make the mandolin does cut Make through really well. Yeah. Make it me. Yes. Let's see. Oh, Disselanius is here. We have a request for him. Let's hey. do that. We might as well do that while he's here, right? Alyssa got the Elias shirt that, we, that I signed. I, I, I would have put your name on it, uh, but the note I got said, uh, can you just sign this? And I said, for who? And uh, he goes, uh, it's somebody's wife. And that's all I knew. Oh, she's <laughs> okay. back. She's back and he changed his name to She's Here. That's Shoes great. here! It's been a while. <laughs> You, uh, Somebody won. Don't be gone so long that we won't do it again. <laughs> Ooh. Don't stay away. We, we, we give requests to people that don't be a stranger regularly. <laughs> don't Next, be a stranger. Uh, um, no, uh, Dislays, what was it? Uh, what was the, it's the, uh, what was it, uh, Dislays request yesterday? Uh, I don't know. Oh, it was John, the John Prine song. Uh, I John don't Pride remember. Song. No, it was uh, not John Pryde. It's the uh, Norman Blake song. Norman uh, Blake song. Uh, the trestle. Just the letting yourself us out. Was it Greenville's trestle? Uh, the, 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 last, last train to Fort Valley. He knew. Last train to yes. Fort Valley. Yes. See, I knew I'd get around. Let's do Fort that Valley. one. Sure thing. Thank you, Luke. Thank you. I almost called her Liz. Thank you, not Liz. I saw Liz last night, guys. I had a band practice. Is she still alive? She still, she still Liz. She's she still, still Liz. talks to you? She doesn't like me. She well, she didn't talk to me outside of practicing. But <laughs> it turns out that she's uh, sleeping in and watching TV shows. That's ridiculous. What's that like? Roar day and night. 
wasn't much you could do. Let me stand in line, get your ration script in time. Woman, I could see it killing you. Now the soft new snows of December lightly fall my cabin round. Saw the last train from Orvalley taking brown hair Becky Richmond Bell. That song. Is that the seldom scene? Seldom did it. The, we used to hear it a lot. I mean, I'm not yeah, saying see John, John Starling. Yeah. Like, really? like, good like good one, John oh. Starling. What's another good one from John Starling, John? Give me another the, uh, Out Among the Stars. We could do that one. I'll do it B flat today. B flat? Can I get better for J Jeremy? No? That's an A. You're an I'm a right. sorry, A instead of B flat. Sure. I think I see low so? on this one. Jeremy okay. seems low on this. I'll move it up then. It does go to the low part. does the D. This Who is wrote a that song? song? Who did write that song? Norman, Norman I think. What, Norman Blake? Was, was it was Norman Blake? I think so. I think so. Ooh. It sounds like a Norman Blake song. I know he did it. Mm -hmm. No finding information on Norman Blake. I mean, it says artist Norman Blake. Pretty sure it's Norman wrote it. It makes sense. All the cold tipples and yeah. trestles. It, shows and it, there it definitely sounds like Norman song Blake by Norman too, Blake. Yeah. I think it's Norman's. Oh, oh, look look at that. that fade there. You can look it up. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't teach you that in video school. Video making yep, school. Like... Tim O'Brien did last point for Morley. Oh, they did. It was, uh, I think uh, I think him and uh, Molly. Molly sang I think it. You're right. I think so. Yeah. so. Together. Oh, we should probably mention some of this stuff. Yeah. This latest took a mandolin break with me. That's awesome. That's what I was going to say. We also probably had some, some very yeah. kind comments. Uh, Skid Gear was saying shout out to Corey and Austin and the rest of the TAS team. He was a new customer and we had amazing All customer caps service. amazing. Appreciate that. Love That's that. very thank nice. You. Skid Gear, thank, thank you. Very you. Much. You've been a great contributor to the channel. You know what? Yes. Already. Skid Gear, there's a lot yes. of us that have to move to Tennessee if we open a shop there. Why don't you just go ahead and move out of here? Yeah. I just want to be here. It's just one of you, right? Um, are you gonna play Shenandoah on the acoustic show? If that is the request, like the band, I think not the song. 
Okay. I want to play some Shenandoah songs. Oh, Shenandoah songs. <laughs> I'd rather Shenandoah play songs. I, like, I want to play songs from Shenandoah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm thinking, no, I'm yeah, thinking I'd much rather do that Shenandoah. than play that's the songs. That's what I was too. I was joking about it being the song. You don't listen when I talk, John. I try not hey, to. Guys, I got I got <laughs> I know he was going to read some nice comments, but we banter about we we rarely, I mean we fight. I'm not going to say we don't fight. Everyone here has seen us fight, but it's normally argue. not on we camera. Argue. We've been getting blasted by one guy, Bill Diedrich, for saying that we fight. <laughs> And why you should never be in business with your brothers. And, and don't get us wrong. We fight. And we fight a lot. But not on camera. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't real fighting. If it was real fighting, you would, you would see some <laughs> playful banter. Out. Somebody would stomp out. Nobody here has been on a trip, okay? Bill, I, I was going to say, I was gonna say this comment. <laughs> Bill, my mother told me that if you can't say nothing nice, then don't say nothing at all. But we wouldn't hear from you if you did that. So oh, <laughs> I don't think he's ever given us a nice comment. It's always... Yeah, yeah. That's that always a nice backhanded poorly. comment after the fact. That thing's yeah. set up poorly. You're anyway. buzzing. You talk too much. Why is there a carpet shop across the street? Um, they were here before us. Four carpets. Uh, honestly, skid gear. And they even had that spelling. And we didn't steal the shoppy from them. It was just a matter of... We couldn't find a that website. That was kind of John's idea, I think. No, there was a reason behind this. And a bankruptcy place this. behind us? Well, we know why. Yeah, the funny thing about the bankruptcy <laughs> place is it went bankrupt, guys. It closed. Boom. <laughs> Uh -huh. I if they got good lawyers. Didn't um, we answer this one real quick? Tommy L. Horn, that was uh, last train from Poor Valley. Yeah. Uh, was Norman that Poor Blake. Valley, Virginia? It could. Be, I bet it was because that's, it where, was, yes. that's where Norman's from, Poor uh, that's Virginia. So oh, yeah. there we go. Um, real quick, I was going to say... Uh, the carpet the carpet shop. Shop. Why did we oh, yeah. first? I Here's why. Uh, we did it because when I tried to find... When we opened the store 10 years ago, we looked for the acoustic shop. And there was actually a store that had stolen that or used that name online since they've gone out of business. So there is no acoustic shop. So we had to use PPEs uh, from that. John, so. what string gauge is on every <laughs> instrument in the shop? <laughs> Asked Jamie. You know what, Jamie? Jamie you should a good quit. question. You and are I need too, you to come over here with a caliper. He has become too, too at one with the shop. <laughs> this is getting... And then he recognized... How about the pick gauge? Because every single pick gauge is the... By the way, if you are... Anybody wants to know what pick gauge I'm using, it is always the same. Every video is the exact same. 1.3... Or a 50 been that way for 55, about 20 years. and it will always be the same shape of a rounded three-point, uh, bigger uh, triangle. It's it will be that way. It'll right. probably never change because I too. Okay. Let's just end this way. thing and say we love all of our wa watchers, it's good and bad. Mean, Bill. Yeah. No, just don't get mad if we talk about you. Yeah. Where are you? We're in Springfield, Missouri, Tommy. That's where we're at. Yes. Hey, Mount Drew. Hey, Andrew's it's Mount back. Drew. Yes, that's awesome. That um, so real quick before we... Uh, yeah, Hinkley, go ahead. Now, uh, returning from said tangent, uh, let's talk about those Great cool instruments, if you don't mind. We can start with whoever. Starting with this one right here. This is the right uh, TAS exclusive yeah. Bedell 1964 variation. Uh, this is a good year, I remember. Changes a little bit from the standard 1964 in that one starts, has a pick card now, ladies and gentlemen, the way it's supposed to be. Um, and then uh, this has a vintage toner on the Adirondack spruce top, mahogany back inside. Looks awesome. Evo fret wire, pearl logo, the Chapman, Scott. and an inch and three quarter nut width. That's what makes this the Acoustic Shop exclusive variation of the 1964 Dread. And this one sounds great. We put the Talk guard the on it, in that. and I love it. Yeah, they come with a K and K pickup, also factory. Um, Heck yeah! They're fantastic guitars and a great value for a very. Skid well is just guitar. googling us. On the Google, 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 Google. Those are all correct. Yeah. Those are all geographically yeah. correct. Sometimes they do like military uh, burials there at the National Cemetery, and also we hear shot, you know, shots being fired. <laughs> they need a, a ten gun salute or yeah. whatever it is. I'm, I'm sure they're both. blanks, but also I need to hear. Bow, 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 bow. Actually, it's all at once. I so just do it. one, two. Three. Reminds us <laughs> of our day in uh, our days in uh, Denver. <laughs> Um, I'm playing the Colby mandolin, and this one yesterday on our Takeover Tuesday was the first time I got to play this. I'm yeah. in the office most of the time, so I don't even get to see some of the consignments and trades we get. Look at the back hey, of that nice. thing. That's nice. Scott Ruff, you guys are great. Followed for years. Oh, thanks, Scott. He, he, he joined us here and said, it has to be the Chapmans with all caps. Correct me if I'm wrong, aren't you guys Those hoarding are cheese good caps. under Springfield? That's what I hear. That is correct. I hear that. Hey, they Jake, get it. They won't share it, but that's true. Hey, Jake, you want to talk about Tab? Um, first, I'm finishing this right here. Um, yeah, the Colby mandolin. This isn't on consignment, but man, a great sound of mandolin. Beautiful woods used on this. We might have talked about uh -oh. some of these mandolins in the shop. Andrew says, "Uh oh, Jake, Eddie, 
we love and you. And then, uh, I, I just use tablature, but I understand. I played by ear for years and years and years. We'd love to get in a, in a room with you, Jake, and talk about tab. It would be fun. Yeah, we should do. We should do a. Uh, we a, should a live a, a debate. live debate. Let's do like, like a, a stand behind podiums. Oh my gosh. <laughs> But we we have to, I believe have to, that I everyone have to, should learn guitar on tablature. I think we have to take each other's uh, viewpoint, so I have to defend oh. not using tab. Jake Ooh. has to defend using it. Hey, that could be an interesting video. Hey, the big team, I like it. If you guys are interested, Jake Eddie is starting a new program where he is doing uh, ear training lessons where you don't have to use tablature. Tab. But in general, it is like good to. It is good to learn also by ear it's good to learn it's not everything, it's right? good to, it's All most it. beneficial to, you know. way, I, I said this yeah. it got cut from that video that we did by the way that i said you have to learn all different techniques to be able to yeah be gay I, well that's kind of like musician. me getting cut out and being yelled at about the, the billy the, the boy. strings problem all right, all right let's play some songs yeah. okay. how many guitars does bedell make a year john uh i'm gonna guess somewhere around 100 I guess. It's good, Gary. You'd be fun. You'd be surprised how many things they can fit between us and that car wash, or how many things they do but <laughs> us and that car wash. All right, things ready? we find. Yeah. Yep. We'll get to that, Gary. It's midnight in a liquor store in Texas.
up their burdens and their scars. Don't you think they love to stop to complain? Don't you think they love to stop complaining and fly like eagles out among the stars? He got close, Mike. What? Great job, guys. You know something Mike, interesting about that song? Lyrics. We what? should... That's like one of the hardest songs to play on bass. Really? Sorry, buddy. To be honest, I've always been the hardest one because I'm holding those for as long as I can. Sustain. We should... I was literally going to say we should make note of that hurts. for a uh, uh, recording day or something for an unboxed... Do a, do a thing with that. Um... John, you had a really good question up about this. Is great. We did, we did I, have a good can I, question. Can I rail for a minute? Can I, I do a hot take? take? Yeah. Will you, you got please? the graphic ready yet, please, Hinkley? It's hard. Every week, it's the same thing. Do you have a graphic? No. I'll try. Okay. <laughs> you say that. I have we, so many week. other oh, things to make. I've got a hot take moment. Hinkley says she's going to make a hot take graphic. She <laughs> never does. That's my hot take. I have so many things <laughs> that need to be uh, made for All this right. store. So it was brought up. Garrett? says that he posted photos of his new E6 SS on the acoustic guitar forum and he was blasted by comments that it was somehow not high quality enough because of run out on the top. What are your all's thoughts on run out? Oh this is actually a really cool conversation I had with Dana Bourgeois and a whole bunch of other people. Uh, Martin was talking about this too. Name drop. Oh, I'm sorry. Should but I answer it just Casey? It's only because... Do I put Casey on the live stream? No. Um, anyway, here's the deal with run out. Run out only happens. It's the same book match, two pieces sliced together. But if the tree starts to sort of bend or move at all, the light reflects differently when you open it up like this. And I'm seeing my inside, you see my Again, outside. Again, you almost think of the Ridgeback dog where yeah. some of the furs going the opposite the direction. Regions. So here's the deal. The, everybody in the world loves the pre-war Martins that they all want to try to create or the pre-war Gibsons or any of those guitars. You want to talk about run out. There was so much run out on those guitars. And somewhere along the lines, we decided that boutique guitars could not have any. It's the same quality. It makes zero difference in the tone, makes zero difference in the quality of the guitar. The strength it's of still wood. strength of wood. Any of that stuff is exactly the It's just the way the it same. reflects the re refracts, Reflects the light. So then all of a the sudden, and, and here's the deal. You got a guitar that gave you so much value as an E6SS at that price. Nuts. Who cares if it reflects the light differently? And it would change. It's like if you nothing. change the angle a little bit. Look at this. Look at this back here. This like that. It changes the angle there. They're perfectly book matched, but it doesn't matter. That's run when out. You open it but up. But you only see it on maple, and nobody complains about that when they see it on uh, on tops of instruments. It's like, oh, this is the worst. You know what? It's an absolutely made up thing. I like it. It makes it look like you're. The, the problem is some people nothing. think those weren't the pe same pieces of wood because when you see it, you can see a, a distinction between the left side and the it right side. Yeah. Nothing. It is the same piece of wood. It's just when you open it, Not it only that, changes. perfectly book match. It's perfectly book match, exactly match, same spot. They it can is, see it pretty well, well on your guitar, yeah. actually. Is this one have some a... pretty good run out? Well, at least from yeah. the angle that it, it was at, you could see right it. Side. But I want to tell you, this has the most ridiculously high the quality bear claw, bear claw mm -hmm. in here of nothing. And this was something that, again, that Dana said, and I've talked to, and Richard Hoover said the same thing. We talked about this. He says, I can build you two different guitars. I can build you the prettiest looking guitar, and I can also make build you the best sounding guitar. And they definitely don't always uh, match up. So, um, anyway, there's a deal on run out. Yeah, it means jacks. Most of the people in that forum that are blasting you don't really know what they're talking about. And that's the absolute They're truth. just picking their nose, asking you about their nut width. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah, I got a hot take. <laughs> I got nah. a hot take. It was, yeah. I got hot about it. could do it a too. hot take emoji. Just do like a flame or something. Okay. I mean, there's got to be one already there. I just wanted to do something really cool, and I then know, whenever I it didn't work. Do. I know you. I no know. Reason to it's say. okay. Yeah, it's How much to play at my food. wedding? If you have to ask Skid here, you can't afford it. As long as there's a cake of zebra cakes. <laughs> a stack, <laughs> if you will. Yeah. A, a stack. Have you guys ever done a wedding cake with cheesecake? 
Actually, that, that guys, that reminds me. So I worked at a I worked at a Taco Bell, a fast food chain of Taco Bell whenever I was in high really? school. Really? Is that what that is? A ta- it's when, a yeah, fast whenever food I was chain? in high school and somebody ordered something like 40 chicken quesadillas and it was for their wedding and they were going to stack them all special or <laughs> I something. I thought they were like going to do Choco Tacos. They no, also <laughs> they, no, no, they, they, they also had free there. meth and uh, mm-hmm. it was really <laughs> <laughs> The take indeed. No, is not they didn't. Lukewarm. They didn't look like sketchy people. They looked like I'm normal people that I guess just I really just wanted to do that. The take was indeed but not. But Fireball lukewarm. was definitely drank that night. Probably yeah, making was forty quesadillas was, was terrible lukewarm. though. I'm I hated sorry. that. That was completely I'm sorry. Hot. <sighs> okay, we had this question come up in one of our videos lukewarm. too. Why don't more guitar manufacturers put long saddles on the new ones? You see them on vintage pre-war. So he's talking about the uh, slot slot through saddles or or. Dana calls it through saddles. Um, everybody has a different deal. Basically, they would route through the entire bridge, yes. and then the, the saddle would actually fill that whole thing, and they had to contour it to the bridge. Yes. Now, here's the reason why they quit being used. They're actually less stable. And this is going to be a little bit controversial, too, because I know one of my favorite uh, guitar luthier builds believes that this is all the difference in the world, and they sound better as slot slotted through saddles. But the reason why it quit being done is if you slot this bridge, it's a thin, what, eighth to a quarter of an inch uh, space that happens here. We'll grain, almost eights. grain line. Um, yeah, three eighths is great. Perfect. Um, and then if it's slotted all the way through, that becomes a weak spot because it's now lower with less material underneath it. And what happened, especially in the early days when people weren't paying attention and taking care of their guitars, that pressure from that saddle would split the bridge and crack it all the time or split it out. So it was then modified to have a drop-in saddle where you just cut the groove. Much harder to build, by the way, than a slot through. The whole idea of why they did a slot saddle is they literally took a router and just went, you know, and just went straight across. Where this, they have to measure it, do the right angle, get everything exactly where they need it to be. And that became See, the drop was hard to, harder to uh, do new saddles for them. And it is hard to do new saddles too. There is you that do, too. Like they have to contour the edges it to match the but bridge. That was the reason for switching it. Then became all the alternative things that made it a better. Also, like you said, building saddles to match up was great. Lowering and changing the saddle height as the guitar changed, and you wanted to change the action, you couldn't just take the saddle out and lower it. You had to find a radius uh, sander and shape that to top. match the same radius as the fretboard, and kind of take that. To off the top instead of taking a flat sand. So, and lower so right it, now what John's saying is like fit. if we wanted to lower the action of this, we pull this saddle out, we have a jig, and we take it off the bottom of the, the saddle, which is flat. Perfect. This top's got a, uh, intonated. a intonated spot and it's also curved to the radius. Mm-hmm. So we can take it off the bottom, lower the action. You can't do that on a slot through because the width of it matches the <laughs> slot through of the bridge. So if you take it off the bottom, all of a sudden that, that becomes shorter and you have this big gap. So you have to take it off the top of the bridge and that Correct. causes all kinds of trouble. So then and comes the third benefit of a drop-in saddle and that is pickup installations. As we start seeing now, especially now, I would say close to half of the guitars we sell have pickups in them. And the reason why it becomes, I don't know what you're pickup. shaking your head for, but, um, but a pickup. It's, it's just more inappropriate. Behavior. Right. Behavior. <laughs> um, anyway, a saddle, usually a pickup will go underneath here. A lot of the saddles or uh, pickups that are built are underneath the saddle. You are now limited to only one style or two styles of pickups um, where you can't use the most popular versions of pickups if you have a slot through saddle. That's the third reason behind it. And this, But now we come back to why are people seeing it again more often. I like the look of it. Yeah, it I looks like traditional. I like it. I... If I had a guitar that I just only going to ever play acoustically, I like the look of it, but I don't I, love that. Go I, ahead. Can I say that we only have an hour and a half on this show? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll okay, this is why I get in trouble trying that to be a host short. these live streams. But people want to know. It's like, we'll have oh, Janelle cut that later. We could, we, could, we could shorten that by about 100 words. Hey, Casey said, I'm sorry I called you. Uh, yeah, Casey. Sorry you called me too. No, Casey, I was calling you earlier today because we have your shirts. We're doing a cool giveaway with Casey Freeland and the Attaboys, guys. Yeah, we uh, a sponsored act of the acoustic shop, yeah. Casey and the Attaboys. We're going to start official... doing uh, Well, we're starting to do it at all our events now. We're talking about doing, well, we just setting up the one for Merle Fest. We're going to do instant live giveaways. giveaways. You scan the code, put your name in there, give us your email address, and you will know whether or not you won an amazing pride instantly. No waiting, no drawing. Excuse me, no reason to say, John. None of that. Nice. 
I'll see Sounds excited. very cool. Um, real quick, before you guys do anything else or talk about other instruments, um, we have about 75 people watching, and we do not have that many likes at all. Please that hurts my feelings. That hurts my like heart. this video. About this it helps day. a lot. It my heart. If you guys are on Facebook, you have oh to kind of pay attention to where to hit the like. But if you are commenting on YouTube, it's really hard to hit the like for this deal. So you have to come out of the comment section if you're on mobile so that you can hit the like button. No, people don't know that. There's right no now. way that people don't know that. I swear to God, it's been brought up like five times. Where? How do I do the like? I can't find it. I have... Because if you're on mobile, Sometimes it's hard. it blocks the entire okay. screen. Can I cover two don't, things? Don't. Don't well, young explain Kathy me. Martin no says, more. By the way, thanks for help. Uh, my consignment, Tyler, is a steely-eyed rocket man. Yeah. I now need to make him a uh, name tag that says steely-eyed rocket That man. would be sick. Rocket cool. man. By the way, we just sold her, her guitar online. Mm -hmm. Uh, to or she had a Taylor guitar that we did a consignment and we sold it fast. And then so. Skip your ass. Uh, how do you play bass with no frets? Um, I, I'm very lost well. with frets. No, very not very well. <laughs> did you hear that last song? <laughs> it just it, you're playing by ear the entire time. And yeah. You, uh, ear and feel. You find your positions on your fingerboard where your thumb and nice. It. Carol, I'm glad you're you able to use the hop the fence Trust tablature. It, 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 it. Absolutely. That's great, Carol. Um, uh, every instrument, you get a free attaboy. John, can anyway. I get you to talk about that guitar also? You didn't really bring it up yet. All right. So I just got off the phone the with these. Ones. We sold one of them yesterday. This one just came online today. Correct, Trent? You just turned it on? This is an E40OM TC. Thermal cured top, Adirondack spruce top. Gorgeous bear claw in this one. But these are special ones. These are with a tone tight neck. The E40 normally has a dovetail joint but they had a few of them that were built with tone tight. Now that's the same bourgeois neck joint that happens. Now with that, you also get a very bourgeois feeling neck, very much like the touchstone necks, almost identical. Um, and there's only a few of them in existence. I found out today I've got one more coming in our next order, but I have this one now and one more and that is what it. What are the benefits of a tone tight neck, John? Well, uh, you could do neck resets. Without having, 20 seconds or less. yeah, you can. Uh, well, literally, we oh, saw him do one in answer. twenty in twenty <laughs> minutes. I saw him do one. Uh, a it was reset. less than twenty minutes. Yeah, it was. I think crazy. it was sixteen minutes. He said, Start James said, I can do it in sixteen minutes. I think he did. It was. It was pretty. Impressive. That's pretty cool, right? Uh, nice. Yeah, somebody asked for it. And I am playing the new Hyde mandolin. This is well, not new. We've had this a little bit, but got this in January. An MF eighty. Ready? Yep.
Oh, so, yeah, there's skid, extra guitar Skid Gear, uh, funny story about Flannel Daddy. This is perfect. That's a perfect name for this. I tell my kids to get dressed this morning while I'm making lunches, and Avery runs up to his room, and he's up there for a while. I'm like, Avery, you get dressed. He's my youngest son. He's uh, six years old. And I walk up there, and he's in his room, and he's got my clothes laid out on his floor. He's got this shirt and his pants, <laughs> and he's picked out a matching outfit that he had in his audience, or his, uh, his closet. So we are matching. He loves when we have, he has a plaid shirt that's white and black, and he loves when I wear the same shirt as him that day. So uh, Flannel Daddy's a perfect name for that today. He picked oh up my, my outfit. Gosh. My six-year-old picked up my outfit that's today. That's sick. Hey, uh, I was wondering why you were uh, coordinated. I want to come back <laughs> for the more first time. time. Garrett brought it back up, and I do want to come back to the run-out uh, conversation just for one more second. Um, one thing that was brought out, we did, I was on a panel of luthiers uh, from Martin, Bourgeois, and Gearing. And what Taylor. were you doing there? <laughs> yeah, and I was actually moderating it, of all things. But here's the, th the, the thing. They were talking about run-out. Um, and how silly it is, and how much wood... Jeremy's going pee! <laughs> <laughs> mute, mute him. Um, anyway, they were talking about run out and how silly it is because guitar manufacturers are throwing away huge percentages uh, of probably some of the best quality, best uh, sounding tops they have uh, because of run out. And there's no need behind it because it's just a, a cosmetic... Wasteful. Yeah, it's waste. Hey. So they're saying... Like they hey, said, hey John, the old guitars were that way. You spent enough time on hey. the subject. If they want to, um, give them your cell phone number. Uh, they can talk to you about <laughs> it. Um, Mountain Drew says it's sprinkled on the path of the eclipse. Uh, slightly out of it. It's slightly off. But what's interesting is my wife keeps telling me that she's getting these messages and, and things online saying, make sure to stock up on gas and I forget what else. Are you for real? Yeah, I don't know. Are people what's freaking going on. out? I think they're gonna like have some of the. I think she. I think she figured out it means that there's going to be uh, people Bedlam. traveling, and they want oh. you to get gas now. So I don't know. It I think like down craziness. in Poplar Bluff is like the a uh, high point for it. Poplar Bluff is, is talking uh, about going. I think she'll be like yeah. Trump and stare at it without glasses. The path on. of totality is what it is. Yeah. We we will obviously see an eclipse. It just won't be. My wife's talking about going down there uh, and doing it as a family. Janelle's, Janelle's taking the day right. off and she's going to go see it. I know that. She didn't ask. Who says she's taking the what? day off? Did she ask, ask the day off? No, uh, man. She's had enough days what off. What day is that? Nope. On our silly little Not app happening. thing. Not happening. I don't know. It's still in a couple weeks. <laughs> when is it? A couple weeks? It's yeah, a couple it's still weeks in a couple weeks, I think. Please unmute his mic, Jim. You Please unmute his <laughs> Weirdo? Good Lord, no. Ow! Gosh. <laughs> uh, anyway. Kidney stone. Uh, I like that John's saying this channel is so unique. It is very John, unique. John, can that I get you to nice switch out? To yes. That. If you don't mind. Okay. I'm going to say, then... you know what I'm worried about with the eclipse? I'm worried that all of a sudden we're going to get a bunch of Mayan priests that are going to just start taking out a bunch that of people. That is uh, not, sacrifice not, not correct, and that's ago. not how that works. You don't think that's going to happen? <laughs> Janelle said I requested it like a month ago. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh my gosh. You yes, have your so allocation of days yeah, off. Sure. You are passed. You need to confirm it with all of your bosses. What? Um, <laughs> gas and cigarettes, yes. John's um, like, oh, I really wanted to film a TikTok that day. <laughs> I'm nervous specific. about the uh, clips for different reasons. I'm nervous I'm going to buy those sunglasses for my kids, and Avery's going to take his off and just stare at the sun. That didn't hurt what's going to happen. Yeah, probably. Trump, Trump can still it. see, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Uh, Trent did somebody a killer job. Uh, we did play uh, in Dalton, Georgia, today. didn't we? John. Uh, Scott Lusso, yes. did we play in Dalton, Georgia? We have. John, recommended, yeah, recommendations for armrests. Big complaint. Numbers. Say that again? Recommendations for armrests. Pinkley's pointing at it on the screen. Oh, sorry. Come on. John, uh, <laughs> I, 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 John Pierce probably has the best one out there. I will tell you this. This is one thing I don't like about the armrests that they that a lot of people add to them. Um, they do leave dark marks uh, on guitars once they've been removed. I think it's mostly the, um, the, the top ages are yes, darkens, but they're done behind it does. that. Yeah. I really love the, that, the arm bevels. For that, but obviously you can't take your guitar and bevel it, so yeah, it's a good alternative. I honestly don't use an arm. Sam, it's not political. Trump did stare at the <laughs> the sun. It was funny. I don't care what your political affiliation is. He stared at the sun without class. He literally didn't do that. Yeah. Nobody said any political nothing things. Nothing political. Nothing. Nothing. Zeros. Somebody wants to hear the I E10. To say Ian, SSB. we did say that we could play that on. Uh, do yeah. we bring it? I can. I can go. Is that what's over here? I can go find. Well, it's not over here anymore. Let's do this right now. Oh. Um, yeah. That's a good guitar for this song. Somebody, 
I, I can request real quick. Slow song. No. Some guy said we used to do. Uh, I can't remember who no it was. No reason on. to stay with request. Yeah. Not the one. Yeah. All right. No. No. Sometimes you just can't win. Like Sometimes you just the George Jones song. can't win. That's a great song. There's also no reason to stay with I, I'd rather do the George Jones pick, ones. Pick and choose. I'd rather do that. He's gone by now and he was a TikTok. Ooh, Jeremy's got to sing. Or I have to sing high. Which one of us has to sing high on this, Jeremy? Me or you? Any techniques I could learn as a mandolin player? Here's a really good uh, a question. Uh, technique for me, a good practice exercise. Do this, go. First technique, tune your mandolin. That's really good. So you're doing two E's, E, E, A, E, E, A, E, E, A. The hard part is your pick direction flips down, up, down, up, down, up, down. That's a dexterity exercise. And then you can alternate. I used to do down. that on bass too. So it's annoying is all whatever. So I'll just sit there with the, the chime and just do. Hey, can I say something real fast? Um, the clip HD, Strobo clip HD, I have never charged this since the first day I've got it. And it still nice. says full battery. It's Great like product. it's like that's product. a good product and people yeah, should not purchase it. I want to say that real fast. All right. Or colds get your shiver. Okay. Oh, we did it. Okay. It starts in the five four. No. Here's a fiddle kick off. He did it. Just let him do it. Just can't be. 
up that middle I verse. thought old Fretz was going to get mad and say it was stupid. <laughs> it was a stupid helpful. <laughs> That's good. Hey, you're very welcome. Of the week for us? I do have a question like of the week for you guys. Question, yes, right? I have been waiting to ask for the, the right question time. of the week. I do want to bring up one, a uh, couple of other comments though, because you guys can't see Facebook comments is how we have it set up. But uh, Barb was saying, I love the Eastman I got, the MD505CS. Sweet. Thanks a lot, guys. Right, That's really well. awesome. Also has the request, I believe, for Grandpa Walking Kane. Ooh, if y'all know that. I'll okay. go into that wall. Alrighty, well. We haven't done Scott's any of this stuff in a long time. Well, that is the request. All right, we've but fast who requested? Do I like them? Or... She bought that mail one. Oh, okay, yeah. I like them then. For the Gosh, question, I'm awful. I'm bringing it up. So Janelle said that this was a uh, a controversial question, and we're it. now nearing Easter. So what no are your what are your living. opinions on peeps? That's oh, the that's that the question of the week. My opinion is they should gross. only be out during Easter. Now they've made They're them gross. also a Halloween thing and okay. a Christmas thing. And Ooh. I'm sorry, and I'm not against <laughs> marshmallow. Jason, it's, it's sugar on top of sugar. It's not bad. What's wrong with that? You know, you know what's funny. I don't care. I am, I am absolutely neutral on this, and I could take it. I could not. Garrett, my wife cracks me up on this. <laughs> my wife cracks me up on this. She has to have peeps that she opens up, and they have to sit out for two days before Ooh, she will eat them. What? Because if they're too mushy and soft, she can't do it. But if they become chewy that. after two to three Hold days, I I she that. thinks they're the greatest in the world. Ew. <laughs> Bark That's crooked. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> <I agree. laughs> you, know, you know what Pete remind me of? Take a marshmallow, drop it on the beach, That's and then try to eat it. <laughs> That's what it what really tasty. feels like to me. For real. Okay, I used to like them a little as a kid. I can't even know. But you know what I liked more as a kid with marshmallow? Those coconut covered marshmallows. I haven't seen those in years. Oh, yeah. Got a okay. bag coconut of coconut covered, covered marshmallows. marshmallows. Toasted, they were co delicious. toasted delicious. coconut marshmallows. Are you talking about uh, yeah. snowballs? No, uh, they're like, like brown coconut. They're like, like a snowball. A, but snowball though. was more of a like a poof of stuff. Yeah, these were actually in the shape of marshmallows. They were from uh, the, the, big marshmallows the brown toasted coconut Wild. marshmallow. Either I way, I literally hate marshmallows with a passion. I also think that peeps suck. That goes on. Uh, peeps are nasty. That goes along with this is Cadbury cream eggs. Oh, I used to love I those as a kid. I still, I still do. I but I can I only tried, eat one, I and then I go, oh my God. nope, that's not good. That is for the cheapest, forever. grossest chocolate I've ever had in my life. <laughs> and the <laughs> cream inside of it is like, oh, what is this? I still do it. I still have one. Like I think I have like I used two to love them every year. Hey, that's my. I Lucky Charms Lucky Charms marshmallows. Yeah. My kids, they they got some Lucky Charms, and they'll pick through obviously all the marshmallows out. I was serving them the Dude. other day, and I grabbed a few, and was like. I remember these. This the is Lucky still good. Charms marshmallows like, are better, but that's because they taste like they're years. free. Did you do your fall in love again? Yeah. Heck yeah. Cool. Yeah, well, this was a great. Question. Well, if this was a great question, wasn't it, guys? Might be good. Yeah, I don't know. The only real, I mean, I'm a Reese's purist. If I'm gonna be honest. Sure, do you do you have either. the opinion that the eggs are better than a normal Reese's or? Yeah, it's the chocolate to peanut butter ratio. Yeah, you know that's the difference. You know, do you prefer you, the yeah? Do you guys, prefer the softer egg ratio? I love. I prefer them, but I'm not gonna say they're better. I'm gonna go. Okay. I absolutely love Reese's peanut butter cups, but the superior is the big cup. The big cup Too changed the best. everything. No, because it's got a lot more if chocolate. Make an in argument it. Here. More chocolate. If we're talking more about chocolate. Reese's peanut butter cups, we're gonna make an argument here. The superior peanut butter cup was the all peanut butter cup. Oh no! Did you have that? That was oh, awful. It was great. That was awful. What? It was like Gross. a peanut butter chocolate Just peanut with peanut butter. butter I think Strings mm. to Soul is actually uh, Mr. Good. Beast in here. He's got a war. He's got his own feastables. He's warring with Hershey's. <laughs> There's a battle going on. You have to try Eskimo oh ice cream. Oh my gosh! I, don't know what that I means. like Hershey's. Big cup is the best cup. It is. And there's the chocolate, and I have to buy mine in sections. I gotta work my way That's around. Too much. You know the best Reese's part. candy, in my opinion. Tell me. I'm gonna say this. No. Are you gonna say pieces? No. Because that's wrong. Okay. I'm gonna I say the Reese's crisps all day. The Reese's crisps, superior. Let's big see. cups gotta make their way back into the shop. I did try the caramel big. I yeah, I did try the caramel oh, big. What's cup. going on here? You're saying they're gonna make I'm their way back into the Let's shop. Just talk about <laughs> have, <laughs> have you guys tried the chips? No, Reese's can't do the, the chip chips inside. I don't even doubt oh that they're gosh. probably good, but I just cannot go. I was surprised. I had to try it. I had to try it, and I was surprised it was actually kind of crunchy still. Okay. You guys do know that Reese's may be out of business because they're getting sued 
because they made these like oh egg gosh. shape and they made the bat shape yeah. and the packaging made it look like it was a real pumpkin, this lady says. But once you got I inside, saw it, it I didn't look this. like the package. It didn't have it a It didn't face. look like a jack-o'-lantern. It didn't, it didn't look like a pumpkin like shape. The, the oh. I feel like you see these headlines all <laughs> the time now. And it actually like is, a, Toyota. Lo- it is a That's lawsuit. hilarious. <laughs> kind of like That's great. A free Toyota. Okay, so well, thank you for that I'm glad that we had the candy discussion. ice cream. Glad that we had the candy discussion. John, did you want to please... Uh, tell the folks what that instrument is. A little bit this around. is chocolate factory. Oh, they have them in Kansas City. I took my kids there. Actually, I still one down in uh, Branson too. I'll Katie. go with you on that, really? Bulldogger. Reese's I'm, Reese's I've loved her since she was a. I do love Reese's <laughs> early actress. <laughs> <laughs> we both grew up together. I just saw her in a movie that Solid. was really good with my kids. It's, what was there it? There was a movie called uh, I like that something one. Moon, like. Well, Man on, on the Moon. She's on The Morning Show. Yeah, that's where I first met her. That's where I that's saw where her. That's where you first she's met on, her. Uh, the, yeah, The Morning Show, TV show. It was great. You guys are really kids. bringing the talk to shop back today. <laughs> it's in the name, Alex. It's in the name. This, by the way, is a Loudon O23. What makes this a 23 is having the walnut back and sides, uh, 23 style. Walnut uh, back and sides, Sika spruce top. This is the original Loudon body shape. It is huge sounding. With their finish is. That's a loud. If I was just a straight like rhythm strummer, this oh, yeah. guitar would be like the best thing I ever played. Uh, it's just killer. We're we gonna still talk about Reese's because we're still getting them in here. I disagree to the point. Not tra- not Rages isn't the best Reese's. I, it's good. I'm telling you. Reese's nice. Crisps. Okay. Yeah, a few questions in TikTok. Uh, I want these to are, these best, are all really, really good questions. You. Thank yep, you. I want to Strengths invest in an soul. upgrade for my two acoustics, Alvarez Artist and a Yamaha Trans Acoustic. What other brands should I look into for acoustics? He tends to wear the frets out a lot. Uh, okay, so if you are tending, uh, this is this word bent up. The Trans Acoustic, great. The Alvarez Artist, uh, pretty good too. Um, I, honestly, since you're talking about fret wear, None of these are going to totally kill you or just end their fretware problem. But I will say this. Eastman has switched over to Jeskar fretwire, which is a harder fretwire and is a little bit taller. Uh, does wear, wear very well, so you would see that on the Eastman guitars. What Here's about? the deal. On any of all those, at some point, replace them and put Evo fretwire on there. Well, that's what I was going to say. Can he upgrade to a, you, you can. want to upgrade, get upgrade to a Bedell 1964? Yeah, there that's a lot of upgrade though. Well, that's that's quite a bit of that. Well, the question well the question is how much are you wanting to invest? Yes. So if like that 1964 I played has Evo fret wire, you I can almost guarantee I can't guarantee it, but it'll be pretty darn close that you will never wear out those frets. I've had I've had them on my like, Gibson yeah, Alex, for 15 years. 15 years. Yeah. Yeah, they're just and Everybody they sound say, great. Bye Alex. Bye, Bye Alex. Alex. Sorry buddy. Um and I, I just think that's the only way to go. Every guitar that I do, as soon as my regular frets wear out, which honestly, the Eastman's, I haven't had any major fret wear, wear because they do use Jeskar. But, um, yes, they have been using it for a long time, by the way, Skid. You're eventually correct, you but will. Eastman does use it. Um, okay. But eventually you will, and when so, I switch them over to uh, Evo fret wire. End of story. That's the only way to go. And so I haven't, to, I haven't so noticed the tone change. Some people say, oh, you heard tone change to it. I didn't notice it at all. Not in John heard it in stainless. stainless. Yes. I did hear it in stainless. It's a little bit brighter, a little shimmery, more shimmery, but I heard zero difference from the Evo fret. So your so your recommendations are Eastman is great, Bedell's the Yamaha are amazing, and they already have. Acoustic would be yeah. fantastic. Um, that's some, what he. That's what he's already it, saying is one of I his know. two. It depends on what Alvarez so, he has yeah. to. There's the laureate. I yeah, mean, he said the artist though is what he's looking at. Yeah. Um, if I were gonna go, but if you're gonna spend the money, that's no. That's what spend. he's. That's what he's saying is that those are his two acoustics that he already yeah. has. Oh, okay. yeah. those are the two he's already got. Yeah. Those are the two that he already Sorry, has. Buddy. That's I, why I was I, saying that. I think I read John Reed. I misread. You I didn't have to read. I read it to you. Um, well, I would say. So depending on how much you're hold, wanting hold to go, on, man, if you can get into that, he's realized part of our scam is selling guitar. capos and, really? and evil frets. So no matter what guitar you get, upgrading to Evo fret wire when this is big possible. news, though, guys. Yeah. Vince just said Hershey's and Little Debbie's factory is just down the street from him. We've got to get Little Debbie's what? number. This sounds like an invite. To really? Me. Well, I'm just saying. We we did get if to he's tour. Close, do you know Little Debbie? Do you know? She's an old lady now. Can you give, give me hooked up with a little bit of a... 
We did do the uh, Hershey's. We're talking about her brand enough that she should probably be hooking herself with some stuff. We did the Hershey's tour once when we were a touring band. We went out to Hershey's, Pennsylvania and toured the factory. That's, That's pretty cool fun. story, by the um, way. I got, a gold, did you listen to the, I got a gold certificate and I got you, to own the factory. Did you listen to the, so what? Oh, you're oh, thinking I, about the movie. Oh, the way, I watched that, the new one, by the way. Is it good? It. It's pretty good if you like uh, musicals. My kids finally watched it at Dad's house, the original one. And no, they like yeah, it. Like it's a, the scary one? Yeah. yeah the, with Gene. No, but seriously. Wilder. His name? Yeah. Did you listen to the Business Wars on I, I Dad's House? Pretty cool. Loved it. Cool. The old one. That's what we just said. Mine too. He's been zoning out again. We listen to comments. the new one. Picture for people who shop at Sweetwater. We watched the new one this weekend with the kids. The kids loved it. <laughs> By the way, how about this? Hashtag Acoustic Shop dominates Sweetwater and buys them out. No. Let's start that one. No. Yeah, we're going to buy them. John, can I ask Let's you play. real quick to switch You're to the TAS, to TAS, please? Yes. We need I'll to play it. that. It's in the title. The people want to hear it. Let's I do was it. hiding it. Yeah, I don't want anybody bigger. getting mad when they don't get theirs yet because we don't have enough yeah, of them to send them out. We can. Bye bye, Carol. Yeah, old frets, I don't think they've stopped making Evo wire. A lot of luthiers don't love it because it wears out their, their files and tools. Um, I've also heard some that are, it's kind of like uh, synthetic oil. You don't get as much business because it's longer in between fret jobs. So. That's, a, that's a good point. I did get into a meeting. I've got a couple guitars coming out with Bedell. And one thing that she did go at me was the extra cost all of a sudden now of what it is, uh, Bedell has raised their cost of what uh, Evo frets. I also, I kind of wanted to go back at her, but there's no difference really. The pr material is hardly any more expensive. It's the fact that they wear out tools that cost them more. Um, so the material is not very much more expensive than the other. It's just the uh, tools and stuff that they have to use to, to wear out, you know, the files will wear out quicker. You want to do a Randy Travis song, John? Why don't we do that? Sure. Carol couldn't wait for the TAS guitar. This is it, right? Yes. All right, this Carol, is this number is one. And I haven't actually got to play it, play it just when we open boxed it. Um, but this is number one of 35. John's like claimed right number here. one. Yeah, I did, actually. I think I have. I think I'm number I haven't one. got to check out two or three yet, so I'll decide <laughs> if I like two or three better. Um, no pick card. Pick cards are on the way. Should be here any day, actually. Uh, Mario has sent those out. Just Madagascar, day. Rosewood. Beautiful. There's a few of these. Have, I did open some of the others and looked at them real quick. There's some with some nice uh, uh, figuring. Yeah, figuring in the tops. Um, the Madagascar. There was one. I think uh, Austin may have laid claim to one already that he loves. Uh, had some really nice black ribbons in it. Um, they feel great. Everybody who's played it loves the neck. It is almost a feel of a of a, a V, but there's it's barely there. It's a brand new profile. Very comfortable to play. It is not V'd. But there, are, there is definitely a slight ridge in the center. What do you want to demo on that one? So, um. Do a five pickle tune? Sure. All right, what are we doing? I don't know. We should do maybe Salt more Creek of a rice. We're going to do it. Yeah. We can do Salt Creek. We can do that. This will be the first break-in session for this guitar, so we'll see what it does. It still has light gauge strings on it from the factory, um, but yeah, this is going to be the new guitar. When I get the pick card, it's going to be great. It's loud. I don't know what they're doing on these guitars. It's a big sound hole, I guess. All that sound coming out of it. It's nice to cut away the majority of the top how loud that be. Go ahead. Am I um, doing it? Yeah, it's guitar.
John, do we uh, do we need to uh, open up the box behind you? Ooh, also, we should do that. Okay. Uh, you know how I know the bulldog's wife doesn't read his. I see yeah. why she's pushing me along now. The time is running here, out. We're getting there. All right. The time is not. And then Kyle is asking, what's the radius on. on the TAS guitar? Wow. It should be the same as other radius. Eastmans, correct? Yeah. Well, that's a good Eastman. question. I'm betting it's going to be a 12 inch. You know what? Though it looks like. It looks like it's a 16 inch radius. We'll have to come back at what? you then. That. The designer should know, wouldn't you think? Well, there's a lot of things that I designed that didn't quite end up the way I thought they would, but that's the way it works. We'll definitely have that answer for you. Um, Would yes, you have a knife? eventually. Anybody? A knife? Oh, I, can a go, knife. I can go grab one real Don't quick. Think you'll hurt yourself, John. There's one in the, the, the conference room. I'll grab one. This got so much tape on it. Dan Hall is Yay. probably not here. An unboxing during our uh, shop talk. Isn't but, that cool? Yeah, it is. Stan is, uh, is, this is Stan's guitar. So we're going to open it up and see if it's cool. See if it's great. Um, by the way, also came in today that will be open box maybe tomorrow. Uh, it's already spoken for. We had a Gibson mandolin that arrived today. An F5G is here. Yeah. We're probably going to put mediums on them, right? I, I plan on them. shipping unless people say not to. We will probably be shipping with mediums on them. Well, you know what? Honestly, it's up to you guys. I would put mediums on it. I think that's what we're going to do. what happens normally, Kyle, is we call yep. you before we ship it and ask you, what is your string preference? And generally, you'll get a brand new set of strings. Yep. Yep. If you say mediums and the mediums are on there and they're already brand new, we may not change them right then, but... They'll have lights on them until we probably ship them yeah. out. Uh, Do you so see Fred Julie on the likely. box? Goodyear is not a legal amp. All right, this just came in. We've been waiting on this guitar. Stan has been waiting on this guitar. It was supposed to be delivered in September due to circumstances way beyond my control. We yeah, have not yes, seen it. Is there it. any special care for nitro finish? Um, don't let it change right? temperature yeah, very exactly. quickly. Uh, as far as care and maintenance, regular guitar polish will be fine no, on it. Be pay attention to what rubber uh, products yeah, and, and, and nylon you put near them. Your, uh, there are certain nylon rubbers straps. on guitar uh, stands and certain guitar straps that they have like nylon. Some of the, uh, the chemicals in that can react with nitro finish and peel it off. But the biggest thing you want to worry about is don't let quick temperature Arrgh. changes happen where Gee. the uh, <laughs> the nitro the changes football? changes uh, temperature a lot quicker than the wood, so all of a sudden it'll just crack and split. It's true. Check. I just did. I told him that was cut. It's already gone. Yep. Yeah. I just said it. it we've already got two pre-orders, so this is going to fulfill one. We'll have one pre-order left. It seems like the Gibson F5s hopefully are coming in a lot now, We've been writing their that. butts about it, calling them just about Our every rep won't answer day. our calls anymore because I keep calling them. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if you told them that we wanted to open it. Like so, yeah, we wanted to open it. Again, this is a nitro finish on that, so we didn't want to open it with the cold. Um, yeah. But it, it has been chilly around here. I'm going to be honest out. with you guys. It's been so long since we ordered this guitar, I don't exactly remember what it is. Kyle's got a good, good Kyle, question. we will do that. If but it's... Oh, like crap. And an LA cable, we will put it in the same box if you order them. Dan, you got a good guitar here. Absolutely. But we will charge you twice the shipping. Really? Um, no, but uh, but other than that, actually, whenever people order uh, their instrument correct, they get a discount on accessories. Exactly. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah, with their purchase. Your customer service specialist. We'll get a 10% yeah. off the <laughs> capo and pick. I forgot yeah. what we did There here. might be a uh, secret tone slab pick inside your uh, TAS guitar anyway, but... You may not want to use it. That way he's not going to buy one, Jeremy. Come well, on. You may not want to use it. He'll have two. Stop it. <laughs> Well, more to come. It'll be a special yeah. edition one. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's Limited the, it's edition. It's a gauge nobody wants to play with, so we'll make sure we buy. Bill does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shows guys. Off. Thompson came in. I got to tune it up. I forgot what we Thompson. ordered, but it's we so basically long. ordered. Our, our Hercules stand should be safe, uh, Kathy. Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, I basically ordered a Tony Rice guitar uh, for, with Stan. I forgot we did this. Adirondack Spruce Stop is a D Mad Addy. We picked out the Madagascar for it. That's the Thompson version of that guitar. This is guitar. a Thompson version of the other guitar. Uh, we That's put, not to say that... This has never been shop. done before. We put a Thompson logo on the That's back cool. of the peg head. Wow. Very nice. Uh, I forgot. And we all, but the, here's where the, we did uh, the purfling that we added to the pe peg oh, head, nice. and that, which I love. And Thompson always looks How many looks picks great. are in your pocket, John? Uh, about six right now. 
Do you want to see? We should have made them. We should have made them guess. I do. I do. You do. I do. For demoing banjos in the store. Yeah, but you're not good at banjo. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got six in my plus a set of banjo picks. Oh my gosh. Is that thermo cured or do they do a toner? It's a toner. This is not. Okay. Thompson, Thompson does not do thermo cured or torification. or torification at all. Uh, we also added a herringbone rosette on this one. get it close before I hit yeah, it. Yeah, Jolly Rancher, a uh, cinnamon Jolly Rancher without the the uh, wrapper. That's what's really mm. gross. Strings, uh, you are correct. Uh, Billy <laughs> Sheets is probably for later. The, the most famous of the Thompson endorsed artists. Yeah. Molly. Him and Molly, Molly, Molly well. probably, yeah. Um, uh, Peter Rowan. Yeah. Never heard of him? Oh, Fetch, do you prefer Tone Slab? That's a good question. I'm still on the John's blue on the chip. Slab. Train Jeremy still likes blue chat. Although I do still like my like uh, Darth tone tone slab. I'm getting a phone call and I don't know who it's from, so we'll wait on that. Whoa. The McKinney model, yes. The the McKinney is what uh, Tony Rice played, correct? Of Elliot's. Say that one more time. The McKinney. The one I'm model. using right now is actually this one. Is just a McKinney, I think. They're saying is the McKinney model McKinney. the Elliot that Tony Rice played. The other one that I have, McKinney is the closest to it. The one is actually a Tony Rice model. It's even closer to Tony's original one. Um, but they don't make that anymore. So the closest thing you'll find is the McKinney, which we do have in stock right now. And that's actually what I'm using today, except mine has the abalone screw. Ooh. I ordered one of these with the abalone screw. John's fancy. Tone Slab is good people. Old friends. David's a good Frank, people. Good, good man, and so is uh, Frank. Frank, not so much. What? Frank, I like Frank a lot. He's never cooked me any food, though. He's a famous <laughs> chef. Did you invite him? What are we going to do? Go Let's and do a guitar. Oh my gosh. We talked about doing. Is this, this the first one we've had in, like, since IBMA, I guess? We got one at IBMA. Yeah. yeah. That's a September. September. This yeah, guitar was like supposed to be delivered in, in September, in, no, in o November. Oopsies. Uh, you got nothing yet? It takes time, right? It takes time to learn. You guys did have a request for fireball mail. Okay. No. As an instrumental? Okay. A? Sure. We've been over this, but you're not my mom. Okay. Go for it, you're shooting off the guitar. One, two, three.
up at the end there. <laughs> that was the one I wanted. So did John. Uh. I, I like your uh, stick to I didn't even give up, Jer. <laughs> That's, that's the only way I can win an argument with you guys is just keep doing the same argument over and over and over until you guys give up. And it's still never land. Hey guys, no of, fighting. Speaking no of business fighting on, on camera, guys. This is why speaking I don't go to of, business with my brothers. I can't finish really? a lick. I can't play a guitar lick. Yeah, speaking of arguments and live streams, this one's almost over. Oh, we got yep. we have time for what I was watching, to, guys. I refuse. What are you watching, Jared? Accept that, Hinkley. The, uh, what's the same rally one called? Uh, Shogun? Shogun. Oh, I haven't got to watch that <laughs> yet. On that. I was like Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles. <laughs> oh, so <cute>. Um, and <laughs> just the, uh... I guess that is different, yeah. TM3. <laughs> <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1, 2, and 3. Jason, cool. what about you? I don't know. I don't know if I've been watching anything regularly. I'm still watching Any Justified. Show? I'm trying to think what what have I watched? I don't get to watch. Oh, you know what I've been watching regularly? That's the question. It's not very exciting. Jason. The one thing that That's I do the watch. There's a documentary on Netflix called uh, The Cold War and the Bomb or something like that. Some in point. It, it goes from the beginning of the you know the the atomic weapons all the Race. way from the beginning in World War Two to Currently now, the the struggle with with Russia and uh, Ukraine, deep prolification, and it's it, you know I learned a lot that I didn't know about Eastern European politics, um, and it's actually very interesting. And I was talking to Dad about it, and he hadn't seen it yet, and he started watching it. And we both said very interesting stuff. Learned a lot, uh, a lot of stuff I didn't know. You don't have to tell me what this thing's called. There you it's go. on Netflix. It's their new push. Their new push for it. It's like. Uh, Jerry? Something point like flashpoint or something, uh, the Cold Just War. Just the good old boys, don't do no harm. Quiet on the set. I don't know what that is. Jeremy, you may have to go next door. There is some guy yeah. who has not read our policy and is fighting poor Corey right now. Uh, he's asking for your help. He has put a layaway on and has decided to cancel said layaway and doesn't understand that his deposit is now forfeit. And I'm assuming that's what the argument is. Let's get one more song and get over there. <laughs> is that the situation? Okay. That's my assumption. Make it quick. I'll Let's tell get Corey. Out of here. All right. I haven't watched anything. I don't watch TV. I do, but I don't. All right. Let's do this two real quick. Ready? All right. What are we doing? Uh, we'll get out with... Uh... She came to me. Somebody asked for it. Make this a little quicker than that. Yeah. Need lyrics? Yes, I do. Carolina. Carolina in the pines. In the okay. hills. I was messaging Corey back. Yep. Yeah. Me kicking off. Oh, One, two.
thank you guys all so much for joining us today. This has been Shop Talk. Thank you for all the requests. <laughs> yeah, and the hot awesome. takes. Thank you guys. Listening to the, blast. to the zebra cake banter, the the candy banter, everything. <laughs> it's good gear. I did hear about that new show where they're. they're talking I about I did watch all of kids that. Kids stars it's crazy. These, these uh, allegations have now come out afterwards. Ooh. The producer of those shows. Ooh. Well, me and Ethan were talking about that. Yeah. There's some weird allegations. That's crazy. Not good. Jeez. Yeah. No, Those no. were like all my favorite shows. Yeah. And now well, I'm now like, you know the wow. Dude, up, was so. yeah. dude was a creepo. Yeah, dude was a creepo, so that like sucks. A, uh, I did watch all of it, though. Coach or something. Yeah. It's a guy that had the Bieber haircut. Awesome. All right. Yeah. Thank you, guys. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. We'll be getting New Guitar Thursday tomorrow. Yes, we will. Bye-bye, everybody. 3.30 Central Standard Time. See you there. Bye-bye. You'll see new guitars there, I assume. One would assume. Selling guitars and making videos. Selling guitars and making videos. Selling guitars and making videos.